Today on Suncoast View, boaters beware. The Coast Guard doesn't want to come help you unless you are prepared. We'll discuss. Testing our genetics can reveal our family history, but what about our body's history? Our beauty expert explains Aravail. And popsicles aren't just for kids. Let's turn the summer heat into summer sweet with a treat that is all the buzz. All that and more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show and welcome back to our beauty expert, Mickey Williams. Great hey. to have you with us. Hey, hi blondies. Hello. Yeah, what's going on here? Thank okay. you. Always you, darling. It is an all blonde day and we are celebrating yes. a holiday week, of course. Lots of new faces in town, lots of people out and about. It's just kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Fun to get in the spirit and see people out doing fun things. And I know a good way to get in the spirit is to eat sweet treats, and we're gonna mm -hmm. do that on many levels today. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what eating plan we're all following this week, but forget about it. <laughs> this is the week you forget. Right. This is the yeah. week you forget. We're going to indulge a little bit today, oh. and we're excited to do that. We're going to start by indulging in the kitchen, of course, as well. We're going to check in with the Glenn Family Bakery, and welcome back, Lisa. Great Thank to have you. you with us. Good morning. Happy fourth week where we're eating whatever we want to have. Yes, yes, we are. Sounds good. <laughs> and you're good with that. What are we making today? We are going to do star shortbread cutout cookies. Oh. And also some decorating, which will be great for Linda because you can do that with the grandkids. Oh, I've there got four of them at my house. I right heard. Now. I, I heard. I need something. <laughs> A to little bird must down. have been talking to me ahead of time so that I could bring you some um, little things that A you can do. Family with them. activity. Family activity. Because <laughs> they can't idea. talk with their mouths full. That's right. <laughs> Everybody's nicer when they're eating sweets. We have all sorts of theories <laughs> on why this is my, good. My daughter doesn't agree with that, but I give the grandkids. That's all right. Just in small anyway. doses. If she's going to send them to your house, she doesn't get to vote. All right. Thanks, Lisa. So we'll be joining you to learn more about that. Well, speaking of sweet treats, I decided that we should have this theme throughout the entire show. So we're going to start right off the top. Dunkin' Donuts has released something new. This is brand new today. These combine our two favorite foods, donut and fries. So they have literally oh made goodness. Dunkin' Donuts donut fries. So dig in and taste one. They dig. were done in a test market earlier this year, and then have now they're Mickey. nationwide. So is there the a potato in here? How no. High so it's just on earth. It is basically individual pieces of croissant fried and covered in cinnamon sugar. To me, they're kind of churro esque. It's a churro, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a churro. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a donut to they're me. They're pretty good. Mm. <laughs> they are pretty I'm good. I'm not going to lie, those are pretty good. Mm. So they've got two new kinds of coffee coming out, a couple of specialty donuts for the fourth of holiday week, and you can get five of these for $2. And I like that too because it's not a big commitment. This little snack. Mm -hmm. They're going to supersize it. You think? <laughs> <laughs> this I don't know. This is pretty supersized. Yeah. This is good. They're good. They're very good. All right, we took that down. See, the problem with this theory is now we have to keep talking while we eat. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We'll get it down. Okay, it is time for our first hot topic. And it is a huge holiday week on area waters. The Coast Guard says they are tired of rescuing you if you don't have the proper safety equipment on your boat or if your boat isn't properly maintained. In the past week, the Coast Guard has been called out four times in the area to rescue stranded boaters, many of whom simply did not have what they should have on board. 77% of deaths occur where the operator did not take a boating safety course. 83% not wearing a life jacket, and no surprise, mm -hmm. alcohol is the leading factor in fatal boating accidents. What do you think it is that people can take a boat, you don't go drive your car if it isn't maintained, in most cases, mm -hmm. yeah. why do we take vessels out on the water and just see how it goes? Because most boaters don't know very much about them. But I still think they've got to rescue people. Just because people do stupid things, you can't let them drown. Well, they will rescue. They're just making it clear that this is bothersome to them. And I see why. Because if there's a legit emergency and you're tied up helping somebody that isn't bright enough to maintain their boat before they go out, you know. Just give them a really expensive ticket. They'll remember that. Mm, and they do me. give tickets. They do give tickets. It, it happened, happened to, to you because your yeah. boat was a mess? No, my boat wasn't a mess. We, it's upstate New York. We were in Hudson River for, it was 4th of July weekend, <laughs> ironically. And we had the dog. We had everybody. The dog even had a life jacket. What I found, and you know, I don't know if this varies state to state, but what I found really interesting is that my friend Nick has a captain's license, but we bought a boat so we would have it up there because well, we had a house up there. And I found it really interesting because the basically we bought a used boat and we just didn't know the navigation of the waters and where the, the sandbars yes. were. And we were going very slow, but then we ended up getting lodged. 
and it was something that we were just kind of like, oh, so we sat there and we called, and all the boaters that went by us were just kind of like, what's going on? Are you guys okay? Everyone asked you, you know, like, we're fine, we're fine. We called the Coast Guard. Coast Guard shows up and they're like, we can't help you because you're not in an emergency. Mm -hmm. oh. So then we basically tried to pull it out. We ran out of gas. <laughs> okay. The Happy holidays. The gas yeah. went down and we ended up eventually getting the boat towed, paying someone. There's actually towing services just mm -hmm. to get it towed and then we walked away. But I, I understand how sometimes you just don't know. I mean, we weren't drinking or anything like that. We had everything ready, but it was just that we didn't understand the Hudson. You and know? I think and that's the Coast Guard's point a little bit. Like, you know, make sure you have depth charts. Make mm -hmm. sure you look at your route before mm -hmm. you leave. Because when there are emergencies, they don't want to be bogged down helping people who just made a stupid mistake. And, and yeah. check with the boat captain. We got out once. There were a whole bunch of us, maybe six or seven. And then the person driving the boat said, where are the brakes? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's not good. <laughs> no. Right. So know what you're doing. That's what the Coast Guard wants us to know as we head into this holiday week. So we have smartphones. Many of us have smart devices that run our homes. But what about an entire smart city? Toronto is contracting with the sister company of Google to redesign the rundown east side of the city as a smart zone, a place where constant data flow would optimize all services, like a pay-as-you-throw garbage chute. It would charge households by waste output. Hyperlocal weather sensors would detect coming snow and heat up a sidewalk in prevention. Oh. Traffic signals would auto-correct based on volume. It's being called by the locals Sidewalk Toronto, and it would be the most measured community in the world. Oh, what I like those think? light changes. Because sometimes you sit at a red light and there's nobody coming. So it would be great if they did it automatically there and warm the sidewalks. Could they know too much by yeah, having all that measured? Yeah, And I feel like, okay, in, again, New York City, Hudson Yards came out and they created mm -hmm. this entire smart space, right? And I, sadly, one of my friends passed away because she ended up having a heart attack while she was pregnant. And in the beginning, it was so smart that something happened and they couldn't get a call out. So it took them nine minutes in order to bypass to get a landline out. So I feel like it's kind of scary. You have all of these things, but there's always a glitch. There's going to be yes. a glitch, and that's what terrifies me. We lost Kit because of that, and that's crazy. That's just because we went to dial out, and it wasn't registering because it was such a new thing, and they didn't have backup. So they really have to test that out. That's crazy, and there has to be a backup plan. We have backup generators. How are we going to have a backup smart computer City. do you know yeah. what i mean that's going to know this person's at this light or this you know this is supposed to be heated what if the sidewalks get hot you know what <laughs> i mean it's, it's it's crazy i feel like it's too much too much to worry about i don't know i feel like we sometimes we do need some of the basics to it's be you've got to get analog. the bugs out you know what yeah. i mean like it, it takes a while to get the bugs so don't go there for a while until me. they get it right there <laughs> certainly has to be a backup plan yes. but i mean it's a great concept as long as you know, especially Canada has a lot more privacy laws than the United States That's does. That's true. So, you yeah. know, so I think there's that worry that if everything operates up in the cloud, what else is operating up in the they'll cloud? They'll know where you are. They'll know where you are. Well, of course they'll know where you are. I don't care because, if they know where I am. Well, I say the same thing. I don't do anything very interesting. But I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. All right, well, most of us know all too well if you drop your phone, everything stops until you take it, you turn it over, and you see if it survived. Well, here's the latest phone case that will save your $700, sweetheart. It's called an active oh. damping case. It's like an airbag for your phone. It literally springs horns and allows the phone to bounce. Now here's how it works. A sensor actually detects the free fall and the protective edges pop out before impact. Look for this on Kickstarter. It is German engineered. I bet it fails sometimes too, Mickey, like the yeah, other. Course, sometimes those yeah. little things are not gonna pop out. <laughs> not every time, but I'm willing to give it a try. Uh, yeah, I mean also. We'll try with How much your does that phone. cost? Because you can just get like Apple Care and they'll fix it every time you drop it too. You know, so how heavy is it? Those how heavy kind of is it? I'm There's the usual questions. But yeah. but and does it pop open in your purse? Suddenly oh, right. What if you drop your purse? Boing. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this one's for Mickey. She's going to love this. We're all, of course, watching Meghan Markle's every move, and many of those moves are in some very high heels. So, how does she do it? Well, this just in Meghan wears her shoes two sizes too big. In fact, the brand new royal is just one of many celebrities who size up to avoid blisters at events or on the red carpet. As we know here in Florida with the humidity, when you wear heels for a long period of time, your feet swell up. But if you look closely at her events, you can tell her shoes are too big. Is this common, Mickey? Yeah, they have these pads that you put them in. It's basically also too to where your feet don't slide forward. Mm -hmm. So you keep your feet kind of stationary. It's almost like memory foam. I just saw some promoting them the other day too that were like disposable slip-ins 
that you can do. And once your feet start to warm up, it molds around your feet. But that's it never, cool. It's yeah. cool. But the problem is there's always that gap on the heel. Yes. You know well, what I'm talking about? Well, that's where you can see on her. Yeah. Yeah. She was standing for a picture, and they had somebody had zoomed in and taken this wow. tight shot of her foot. And you could literally put two fingers behind mm -hmm. her yeah. in her heel. I mean, well, when I stepped off, I'd right, walk right out of my shoes. That yes. happens to me a lot. Yes, yes, yes. And I think that there's also some really other better ways to do it. But if you, it's it's just vapes, it's more about padding and getting, you know, when your feet what sweat. What do you do in Florida with the sandals? With like sandals, there's no like way to hide anything. We you can't put an insert like in our strappy yes, stilettos. You can. You actually can, and I absolutely love them. They're by Odor Eaters, and you can cut them into the silhouette of even like the tiniest little shoe. And not only do they have a, like something that gets rid of the bacteria, but it does have this kind of like memory thing where it sticks, and so you don't slide through. And you can put them right into your. You can adhere and it doesn't them. look ugly. No, you can adhere them. You can even cut it to where your toes basically are at. You can cut really? it and measure it any way you want. They're by Odor Eaters. They're the most, and they're like soft and slim, I think is what they're called. And you can pop them into any shoe. I have them in all of my shoes, especially if I have to walk from like one event to the next and right. I have to walk in the Very city. Very good, Mickey. No, that's yeah. some, I agree. That's some good advice because yes. I know my answer is usually just put heels in my bag and wear flip-flops. But <laughs> there's a much classier way to do things, that's for sure. All right, well, here's a couple of viral videos that you may have missed. Here's a slithery surprise nobody wants to see. But at least it was on the other side of the window. So this oh. snake dropped right out of a tree in North Carolina and onto the guy's windshield. The fact that snakes are lurking in our trees does not sit oh. well with me. Well, well, everybody in my house now looks in noodles before we go in the pool. Even the five-year-old looks good. Some, did you have one in there? No, somebody else did. Oh, and somebody else found oh, okay. a snake I missed that in a last noodle. Week. So everybody now in my family looks inside the noodles. It's a constant thing to see if there's snakes. Okay, I have a question, and I'm really sorry about this, but this is just happening to me. Okay, first of all, that those trees were the mm -hmm. snakes' trees to begin with, and we keep building, so they have nowhere else to go. But do and you want them on your head? No! And secondly, <laughs> I don't know, is this like crazy breeding season for lizards and roaches? Is this the time of year where it just happens? It's raining, so they all come in. I mean, there's lizards scurrying everywhere, and there's these giant roaches that I cannot <laughs> handle. I don't even know what's going on, and I swear they're following me, but they have multiplied. Like, what is it? It's season. I have to avoid July for the you, rest you of my life. You need to meet an exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> well, get a dog. Your next date should be be an exterminator. Oh, <laughs> it's horrifying. And there's so many lizards. There are a lot of lizards. Yeah. I would agree with but that. But they wow. eat mosquitoes and things. And they yes. eat roaches, apparently. I, so they I'm do. Like, They're a good thing. Basically, in one month, all of this is going to be over. And but the I snakes probably eat the lizards. So <laughs> yeah. it's all it's all a circle. All right. Well, speaking of snakes, a little golden retriever puppy is very popular after playing hero to save his owner in a story that has, of course, gone viral. Wait till you see this cutie. Aww. Little Todd is not quite a year old. He was walking with his big brother and his owner in Arizona when they almost stepped on a rattlesnake. So Todd the puppy jumped in front of the owner to protect her and he took a bite to the face Ooh. in the process. He was rushed to the vet for anti-venom, but he is going to be okay. Oh, wonderful. Aww. Yeah, they really are just amazing, aren't they? Well, and my thought was knowing a retriever, he probably wanted to play with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not catch the snake. I was going to say, my retrievers just, just want to play with it. played off his owner's it. fears. Like, wouldn't you be Maybe. scared? Uh -huh. And then, yeah, but it is a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> it is a puppy. Probably wanted to play with the snake and learned that that wasn't such I a good idea. I think he wanted to protect his owner. Yeah. Yeah. Go for He's hero. a playful superhero is that's what right. he is. Yeah. Snakes, lizards, and roaches. That's what we have oh. here on the holiday week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to check out our happy hour forecast. And when we come back, a culinary creation that helps you cut carbs and still eat your pasta. We'll explain. We have an area that we're watching right now in the Atlantic, and that area has the attention of the National Hurricane Center because there's 1% chance right now that it could develop into a tropical system, but you can see it very clearly defined right here, and this is a surface low, and it's moving towards the west, towards us, and already it's starting to throw off some showers in advance of it, and those showers are now beginning to affect the eastern coastline of Florida. Eventually, that rain is going to be coming over here later on this afternoon, we're expecting about a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain. But right now, things are quiet and they will be throughout the morning hours. We're not expecting to see rain until maybe around a, a 10. We'll start to see some showers off the coastline. And then by 12, 1 o'clock this afternoon, we'll start to see those showers drifting in from the east coast and advancing over towards the west coast. So expect about a 40 to 50 percent chance of rain today with a high of 92. 
No Oodle was founded in Highland Park, Illinois in 2009. Now, if you've never actually tasted a No Oodle, you are really missing out. We welcome the founder of the No Oodle, the Marco Polo of the No Oodle world, Chef Terry Rogers. Hey. Now, they've been eating this, Terry, in Japan for centuries. That's right. But you were still the first one to bring it here. I was. Actually, I was always looking for healthier um, alternatives for my customers at my restaurants. And one of my customers who is gluten-free and vegan, he came in with these Japanese noodles called shirataki, and he said, here, cook with these. I'll put you on the map. And I did. I realized that the noodle itself had no flavor whatsoever, but it took on the flavors of the great sauces that you cook with it. So no noodles just like life, and it's as great as we make it to be. Oh. Um, and what is it exactly? Yeah. Okay, so that's the best thing about it, is actually for the last 10 years, I've been helping people eat weight, I mean lose weight just by eating more. Okay, hold on, so, don't, let's, I'm gonna have you put that glass back down. Okay. All right, so you're looking at the packaging for no oodle. Yeah. And you're gonna show us exactly what it is. What it is, okay, no so people always say, cause it's no calories and no net carbs and no gluten and stuff, and basically everyone always says, the biggest question over the last 10 years, everywhere I've gone, has been how in the world does the no oodle have no calories? Yeah. Okay. So basically the answer is, is because it's made from 97% water and 3% of this cone jack yam plant. So I'd love your viewers to Google cone jack, K-O-N-J-A-C. <laughs> so it's a plant. And yes, it's, it's a 100% water soluble fiber uh, from derived from the Asian yam plant oh. and so our product is made in the United States and we have been helping people lose weight just by eating more That's what was the reaction when now you had a restaurant yes uh, so I came up with the name no oodle because it had oodles of no I put it on my restaurant uh, menu because I was just so in love with it and I came up with a create your own no oodle oh. so you could put on teriyaki sauce you could put on pesto and it just was like the biggest hit i was in the restaurant business for eight years but after like three months people were like is this the no oodle restaurant <laughs> oh, that's and that's um how i founded the noodle and it's great for diabetics the soluble fiber see so check this out people say what does it do see in the factory see how this is if oh, i leave this cup here it's okay together. it will solidify if we're oh, talking wow. in 10 minutes oh, wow. the whole thing will solidify so basically what it does, we do that in the factory into a noodle. We have different shapes. We have fettuccine, or, um, pastina, which is great, the little balls, and angel mm -hmm. hair, mm -hmm. okay? And so what it does is it tricks the stomach into being full. Um, in Japan, this is a really great point. They call this noodle the broom of the stomach oh. because oh, one of the health benefits is, is it slows down the digestion um, of fat and cholesterol. So I always say, Eat the cheese. Now, look at this. This yeah. is a delicious, we just got the no oodle on um, some menu, uh, the menu at um, Cafe Amice. Okay. Actually, they're offering it as their alternative to gluten-free pasta and any kind of pasta if someone's looking for no calories or carbs and they want the pasta feel. So this is their bolognese sauce. So, I mean, I say add the cheese. You see how I sprinkle cheese yeah. all over? Because I the love cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah so and how do you make it taste good okay. if it doesn't have a taste itself? Well, that's the thing. It's a clean canvas for cooking, and mm -hmm. that's why I absolutely love it. Because, that's look, a, here I chopped it up. I put it in an egg for Tata. You can chop it up, mix it with fresh fruit and yogurt. <laughs> I have about 60 video recipes that take less than three minutes on my website, which is www.nooodle.com. That's noodle with an extra O.com. Yes. <laughs> and then here, I just moved into the Sarasota area, and I actually love it. I think it's a really up and coming food scene. Mm -hmm. And um, we're starting our um, pre made meals. 100, 200, 300, and 400 calorie meals. Oh. A delivery service because the reality is is that, you know, if you have, if you just want to eat healthier, then this is perfect to incorporate into your regular diet. If so you have more weight to lose, you want to eat it every day. So you want to eat it three yeah. times a day. Now do you boil it? Like, how does no, it no, work? No, oh, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's pre-cooked. So, uh, oh, you see, see this noodle? Yeah. So, so, this is what you would get, this? Yeah, mm -hmm. you get the bag of noodle. Now, it's pre-cooked. That's okay. another reason why people love it. So, it's it comes in, since it's made from 97% water, it has to be packed in water. Uh -huh. So, okay. all you do is open it up, 
you don't have to boil water in Florida. That's great because it's already hot already. <laughs> so you just basically put it in the mixing, you know, the colander, drain off the water. The key is you want to release the excess moisture in the noodle. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a stove top, you want to just get the, the skillet nice and hot. Don't add any oil. And then you put the noodles in it and it'll release the excess moisture and then you put the sauce in it. And the greatest thing is the longer the noodle sits in the sauce, the better it is. So you can never overcook yeah. it. Mm, so it's, it's yeah. absorbing the other flavors, whatever exactly. flavor you put next like to it's, it. That's the thing. At Cafe Amiche, he's got an unbelievable bolognese sauce. And I always say, it's like, it's the sauce. This is yeah. just like pasta and rice oh, and yes. everything is. It's, like, it's about the sauce. This is a texture thing. This and sounds and great. Great what? foods are about a lot of <laughs> layers of taste and texture. And so. you've got to try it. For yeah. more information about the No Thank Oodle you. and where you can find them, go to their website site, NoOodle.com. Next, The Law Place explains the recent Supreme Court shakeup. That is a pretty good breakfast you're not even eating. Not hungry. No? Why not? What's up? Uh, Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases, a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Like ABC7 on Facebook to stay connected to the team you trust. One of the biggest headlines last week was the retirement of Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. Here to tell us more about what comes next and finding his replacement and more about judges in general right here on the Sun Coast is lawyer Anna Marie Rizzo from the Law Place in Sarasota. Welcome back. Hi. Always great to see you. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> All right, this is a hot button issue. So politics aside, ladies, everybody <laughs> play by the rules here. This is still a very big deal no matter which side of the political fence you are on. So explain what happens next in picking a Supreme Court Justice. So the president gets to appoint someone that he feels will best fill the shoes of Justice Kennedy and then there has to be a confirmation by the Senate by a majority vote and then they get sworn in. So it's a it's a very quick process. It's, it's an appointment by the president. Um, you know Justice Kennedy was a great justice. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't really one side or the other. He was somebody who oftentimes was a swing vote in a lot of decisions. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I think that just having someone that's fair, someone that's going to apply the Constitution to whatever decision they're making is someone that would be a good fit, regardless of what your political affiliation mm -hmm. is. So we're hearing about this so much on the national scale, but you have pointed out that some very important judge elections and appointments are happening right here on the Sun Coast. Give us a quick primer about what's coming up for vote in August and how not all judges get elected even though we think they do. 
Right, so locally what's been happening, it's been kind of on the news a little bit as, as to where our judges are retiring before their term is up. Mm -hmm. And so it goes to an appointment by the governor, uh, except there's no confirmation vote in anywhere. So once the appointment's done, it's done. And so our voters locally are not having an opportunity to voice their opinions as to who they want as the person sitting on these cases. And in August, we have an election coming up. It is a circuit court election. It's, we have two people. We have someone who was recently appointed and that term is up for what where the original judge was okay. who retired. So you're only appointed to the end of the original term. Exactly. Okay. Got it. So you're not really an incumbent because you weren't ever elected. You were okay. just appointed. Now so you now you run. actually have to run. Right. Um, it in oftentimes people haven't been running. We do have someone running uh, this year, which is just very uncommon. So, so it it's is an opposed. It is an it is an opposed election, and so it is an important election for everyone to get out there and vote because it, it affects every single one of us here locally. Help us understand that, because I'll admit I'm very guilty when the list of the judges comes out. Yeah, you know, you other than them. other than familiar names that uh -huh. have been around, you don't know. If I'm not a lawyer, I'm hopefully not going into the courtroom to see this judge. Why does it matter to me? Well, no one knows when they're going to end up in front of a judge. So that's really the important thing. I mean, we don't, some people are like, well, I don't do criminal work. I'm not going to be in front of a judge. Okay, well, it's not just about people who are getting in trouble with the law. If you ever been through a divorce or child custody case or a personal injury case, let's say you got into a car accident, any kind of lawsuit, these are people who are making those decisions, restraining orders. You need somebody that is knowledgeable of all aspects of the law, mm -hmm. has represented human beings. That's a really important thing because if you don't know what it's like to, ha to represent an actual person going through the process, that is a very difficult concept for you to understand as the judge overseeing these court cases. Um, someone who is just able to interpret the law and, and interpret how it applies to our constitution, all important factors. And when you're an individual, really strongly believing in your case, whether you're a mom fighting for the rights of your kid or, you know, a, a father fighting for their rights, whatever it may be, it is very important that you have a well-rounded mm -hmm. judge sitting on that bench making those so decisions. So important to do our research for the upcoming election in August. Absolutely. Also quickly, because you're here and it's a holiday week, please remind everybody what, if someone should get in trouble this week, how to go about making sure it's handled correctly. Absolutely. So just like you're, where you're talking about the Coast Guard, I mean, that's a good reason for them to just come on board of your boat on your vessel and then see that you have been drinking and before you know it, you're having a boating under the influence. Mm. They are going to be out there. They're going to be enforcing all DUI laws, all boating under the influence laws. Make sure you know your rights. Make sure you don't get in trouble and don't drink and drive. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And for any legal questions, you know to find Anne Marie at The Law Place. And the website is thelawplace.com. Great to see you. Have a safe and happy 4th. Coming up next, we're going to celebrate the 4th right here with a bit of a summer treat for grown-ups. Stay with us. When you are home alone, an emergency can become a tragedy. However, with any of Life Alert's three emergency systems, help can be summoned immediately, whether in the bathroom. I've fallen in the shower. At home. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. And on the go. Help, I've fallen in the park and I can't get up. Don't worry, help is on the way. Life Alert saves a life every 11 minutes. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-518-0221. That's 1-800-518-0221. Call now, 1-800-518-0221. For a free brochure, call 1-800-518-0221. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through TrueStage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. TrueStage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. 
And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time honored principles. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. I will never accept defeat. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. I will never quit. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. When it comes to drinking, what do you think moderation is? The U.S. Dietary Guidelines define moderation as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. So what's a drink? The guidelines say a drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or a cocktail with 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Each contains the same amount of alcohol. Like to learn more? Visit drinkinmoderation.org. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check back in with Lisa in the kitchen from Glen Family Bakery. And Lisa, I know we can find you at farmer's markets all across the Suncoast, but a couple of new additions to your line. We do. We also, we're pretty much wholesalers, so we supply a lot of coffee shops and restaurants and offer um, call-ahead service if you want to come to our wholesale kitchen. Our newest in our bread line, which we did a little research in New York City about a month ago, are the little baby baguettes. So, so nice. for those people that are, you know, watching their carbs a little bit or just want something small on the table, but it also gives you a choice because we do it in all varieties of what our larger breads are, but just smaller. And these are our sprouted grain breads. So these are also a little bit healthier version of regular bread and sourdough, rye, all different flavors. And you know what, to be honest with you, they're just darn cute. Yes, they <laughs> certainly they are. They are adorable. Yes, all right, so. I told you we were having treats the whole show. We're going to join you to hear about the shortbread cookies coming up. But here's a treat, Linda. Oh, it is. Remember when you were a kid, there was nothing better than a popsicle on a hot summer day. Well, now that you're an adult, there is something better. Buzz Pop Cocktails. Joining us is the Buzz Pop Cocktail CEO and co-founder, Joseph Isaacs. Welcome, Joseph. Well, thank you for having me. Welcome. Nice to see you. Happy Fourth Thanks of July. Happy Fourth of July Pop week. Popsicles. Thank you. So what's in these Buzz Pops? This is the only all-natural adult push pop in the world. There's nothing artificial, no artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, additives, sugars, high fructose corn syrups. They're 100% fat free. They're under 100 calories. Oh. They're vegan, gluten free, certified kosher. The flavors that we use uh, rum and vodka in, it's a non GMO organic spirit, 15% top shelf alcohol. Mm -hmm. What's not to like? <laughs> We're in. We've we've hit on everything that you could possibly imagine. So I, I it's a healthy alternative. It's it. a healthy alternative. Lick your way to paradise. That's what you. That's your motto. The, one of our friends came up with that slogan because um, everybody seems to enjoy them so much. They figure they're in paradise after having a couple. And what better place to do that is Florida. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. So how did you come up with this? Well, actually, I didn't. My son is a chef. He's been a chef out in Las Vegas for the last uh, decade plus. Mm -hmm. He's worked at most of the major hotels and five-star restaurants out there and was sitting around with one of his friends uh, you know, back a couple years ago and said, God, I wonder if we can make these push pops for adults. Mm. So we actually have a patent on the process to freeze alcohol in high volume. I was going to ask yeah. you about that because it, it comes slushy usually, Usually not it's frozen. slushy. It's usually not frozen and that's a problem that a lot of the other folks that are in this space have is they can't figure out how to freeze the liquor. Most yeah. of the other products or three to five percent alcohol. We start at fifteen and go up as high as thirty-five. So but doesn't that make so it this harder is a to freeze? Uh, it's using our process. No, it's okay. not harder no, to freeze. There's the you couldn't so freeze there's, alcohol. There is an entire cocktail in each one of these. Oh pops. my goodness, this that's so funny. This is a full drink without the ice. 
Interesting. So, yes, yeah, interesting. We have about 75 flavors that we created. Um, we're constantly rotating them. All of our Buzz Pops are made with either fresh fruit purees mm -hmm. or cold pressed juices. So they're actually Yum. good for you. Oh, that's exactly. very good. They're good for you. You get a buzz the and they're flavor. good for you at the same time. Tell us so about the flavors, and I know Linda wants to try one. I so would like to try one. Okay. Well, today we've brought a couple of flavors. This is the mango passion fruit. It's made with Drake's organic rum. It's mango, passion fruit, and rum. That's it. There's nothing else in here. Okay. Wow. They're an Italian sorbet, a five-star restaurant quality it's Italian sorbet. And you're supposed to lick it? Oh, well, you can lick it. You can eat it. Just enjoy it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, Which flavor would you like? I oh, the blueberry? Uh, no, there was no. the other one. It was the, the Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule with the vodka? Yeah, I'll do that one. Okay. Here's Licking one. works best. Licking okay, works good. Let's know. Well, see, it's, a, it's an Italian sorbet, so it's got a very mm. smooth. Yeah, um, it's almost creamy. It's a completely different consistency than you would actually think it to be or yes. imagine. It's not going to be so icy. Hard. It's not, I, it's Let's not get icy. Stephanie it's one. Stephanie, I'll take the blue one. The blue one? What's in this one? This is a uh, blueberry, pomegranate, and tequila. This is okay. excellent. This is wonderful. That and this is a Moscow nice. mule it's made with ginger, be uh, ginger beer. It's yeah. delicious. Um, now, you've had some pretty powerful Bob. people support you on this, right? We've had some interesting people come along. We've had some, se some, some serious chefs. We were endorsed a couple of years ago by uh, Kevin Harrington, who was the original shark on Shark Tank. Mm. Um, we are mainly a manufacturer a wholesaler, so we sell into the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. Pool bars, hotels, banquets, events, yeah. sporting arenas. Um, convention centers, uh, cruise lines, major festivals, mm. and occasionally online. It'd like be nice for a wedding. <laughs> weddings, yep. I'm, I'm doing going to the Hamptons we're doing week. one. We're we doing one in September there. up in New York. <laughs> They've ordered a bunch of them for the wedding. It's just something really, it's cool, different, it's fun. Yeah, so you it's can ship them from your website? You can order You a, can order them from the website. Or, yep. oh. We do those on a, on a certain limited times. We're mm -hmm. doing them right now because of the 4th of July. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Uh -huh. you won't have them in time for the 4th. You won't. But no, no, there's no way to order them today and have them tomorrow. We're just so backed but up. But you'll have them for the summer. But you'll have oh. them for the summer. So for us, it's all about um, creating a unique experience while bringing back some of that retro feel from this 1960s when everybody had a push pop when they were a kid. Yeah, yeah. it's just like Everybody. being a kid again. It's like being a kid again with the fun adult version. I cannot imagine not smiling. When you're I how, do you, how do you like that flavor? I love it. It's tart. Yeah. I, I hate when Moscow mules are too sweet, and this one's not. There's no <laughs> well, there's no sugar in there. Yeah, they're, they're very natural. natural. You can they're tell they don't have that sickeningly sweet They're all natural. Deal. They're not sticky. There's mm -hmm. no extra sugars. There's no high fructose corn syrup. So the only thing you can't do is give them to your kids. But, yeah. we, but yeah. we figured adults need to have some fun too. Exactly. And that's what I it's agree. And adults that's what are Buzz people too. Adults are people too. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what Buzz Pops is all about. It's about bringing back that childhood memory and doing it with some um, super premium spirits and creating some unique flavors that you don't find elsewhere or turning a, 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 any signature cocktail into a Buzz Pops. So basically, we can take any drink and make this. Ah, I love it. Well, for more information on Buzz Pop Cocktails, go to buzzpopcocktails.com or you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. At Buzz Pop Cocktails. At Buzz Pop Cocktails. <laughs> Next, our beauty expert introduces us to a new genetic testing service for our health. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good morning, I'm Ray Collins. Today at noon, President Trump meeting again today with more potential nominees for the U.S. Supreme Court. We'll tell you which judges he's now considering. And the first fireworks display is actually today at Nathan Benderson Park. We'll tell you about the event that begins at 4 o'clock this afternoon. First, here's a Tuesday forecast from Wendy Ross. And we are looking at partly cloudy skies right now. A few showers forming out here in the Gulf of Mexico. But as the day wears on, the rains that are on the east coast are going to start to make their way over to the west coast. And we'll see these showers forming, coming on in, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Beginning at around 2 o'clock is when we should should see these showers throughout the day. We've got a 20% chance of rain until one, but you'll notice that those rain chances go right back up to normal summertime patterns, 40 to 50% chance with a high of about 92 degrees today. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? 
If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. It's simple to use and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398 or visit SoClean.com today. You now have the power to prioritize your Facebook feed and get local news and information from the team you trust. Go to the ABC7 Sarasota page on Facebook. Give us a like, then click following and choose See First. That's it. Customize even more by choosing notifications. Choose breaking news, posts, live videos, anything you want to see in real time. Take control of your news feed and stay connected to what's happening in your community with ABC7 on Facebook. Ever since I can remember, I've been intrigued by industrial design and the optimization. Wait, that's passion? Ever since I can remember, my passion has been industrial design. We need 3D printers for Miss Adams' engineering program so that we are ready to solve 21st century challenges. Impressive. Think It Up is a new initiative to support student-powered, teacher-led learning projects. Students and teachers, how can you spark great learning experiences in your classroom today? Think it up. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, restaurant guide, and more. Go to MySuncoast.com slash dining. Genetic testing has been gaining popularity for people who want to know all about their family history and ancestry. But what if we could take a deeper look into our DNA to see how we can best treat our bodies? Our beauty expert, Mickey Williams, is here today to tell us about a genetic testing service called Aravel. Welcome back, Mickey. Hey. So Aravel is described as like an owner's manual for your body. How does that work? It's pretty incredible. So we know that we can get genetic testing to kind of figure out, you know, where we're from or, you know, what our origins are, our ancestry is. But what if we could figure out what we're predisposed to just by what our blood markers tell us? So Aravel is basically taking a deep dive into your genetics, but it's also going to read your behavior, you know, you're, they're going to hook you up with somebody who can help you with behavioral. All your lifestyle choices that are actually adding to it. So what they're trying to say is with their new program is that these are your genetics, but these aren't necessarily your, de your destiny. So it's super easy. You go on and you apply basically to become a member. And like I just did it, and I, this is, I'm on my journey this year to be the healthiest I've ever been. And this is such a great program for me because you just go in, you simply just give your blood like you would. They set you up with a bunch of different laboratories. And what they're doing is they're basically, you're going to go through this discovery phase. When you give your blood, they're going to take up to like 30 days just to kind of run all of these incredible tests on you. They're going to find out your genetics. They're also going to run your blood, your saliva, but they're also going to check your gut micro microbiome. And we're finding that that has more and more that leads into how we kind of feel every day. So what Aravel is doing is they're going to help you not only kind of regulate if you want weight loss, but they're also going to regulate your sleep. They're going to help you achieve everything. And they're going to mm -hmm. do that with coaching, dietitians, so that's where they're stepping away with their program. Mm -hmm. They're not just saying, hey, here's your DNA, now you go off and figure out what to do with it. They're saying, okay, we're gonna run all of these and find out everything that there is about you, and then we're gonna hook you up with a dietitian. And you're gonna have a call with a dietitian, and then after that, we're gonna coach you along your way, because we want your success as much as you want to be successful. They're changing the game a bit because they're saying, listen, this is your genetic mm -hmm. coding, but you, this isn't your destiny. Yeah, how much do genetics affect it? I mean, how much can we actually work it's with? It's actually really interesting. They have this incredible graph where they tell you, you know, here we are at 60% of what are, you know, our determines determinants of health in the U.S., 60% is behavior and environment. Ah. Isn't that incredible? And yes. then like your health care is 10%, and then you also have 30% of genetics. So that is a pretty big slice. Yeah. But imagine like you know your genetics, that's 30% of it. Then what do you do with your behavior? How do you make those lifestyle changes? You can tailor it. They have 
you know, certified basic co like coaches that will help you make these lifestyle choices. So this is what the membership has. It has data. You get that data in the beginning, but then you get the coaching, you get that dietitian that you get to talk to, and then you also have, they put you within the action of what you need to do. And I have to say, so far, my personal journey has been incredible. A, l a little while ago, I just took one of their basic tests. This is now, I'm now doing something that's more comprehensive in their program, but just learning through my genetics, I've always been on like a carb free diet. I've lived off of that fad diet my whole life. Just by learning what I was predisposed to, I wasn't predisposed to basically gaining weight through carbs. I was predisposed to gaining weight through high fats. Oh. So learning that alone, I dropped 12 pounds. Just learning that alone, I dropped 12 pounds. And I think, oh my goodness, my whole life, I have been doing these kind of like carb-free diets, uh -huh. but that wasn't what was genetic, my genetics. Yeah. So they, they kind of take away, hey, this might be the fad diet you've been on, but this is actually what your body, your mm -hmm. custom code mm -hmm. is going to work for you. So that's why they call it the owner's manual because not everybody has the same owner's manual. This is really specific to you. But then again, they just don't kind of throw you out. They go ahead, they give you all of this, they, they figure out everything that's in there, but then they also, they kind of give you a deep dive into your blood work, but then they set you up with that dietitian, which is part of the program, by the way. I mean, that could be up to $200 just to talk to a dietitian, but then they take that and they move it over to coaching after that. Hey, what are these behavioral changes? Hey, what time of the day do you eat? You have a coach, and I don't, I, statistically, we found in our society that coaching really helps, right? Yes, we know absolutely. that we love that support, but also to have someone who's a trained expert in behavior and also genetic coding as your coach, it's absolutely genius. And so far, my journey with it, I was giving blood the other day, you saw those pictures, mm -hmm. and I have to do my gut mi microbiome, which I, I've always had issues with my di digestive tract, so that's very important to me to figure out what's going on in there but I have all of this information and then it's out on the table and someone can explain it to me and that's why they're saying hey this isn't a one-off this is actually a membership mm -hmm. and what's really cool about this membership is that right now because I'm doing I'm like I love Arabelle they're actually you know partnering with me and they're going to do 50% off their membership by using my name oh, in caps oh, M-I-C-K-E-Y but it's usually $199 a month and now it's only going to be $99 a month and you just think about it just the dietitian alone would have taken up that amount of money right you go into the get your blood work done that's all paid for by the program Oh, yeah, it, all of that is expensive. in there you don't have to do you just show up to one of their labs they run all this for you and so you're basically taking a journey you're learning your insides and you're learning that owner's manual and that mm -hmm. is so important so I'm finally ready to be completely healthy but to know how I am healthy that's right, so part. it's not just yes. ancestry and health data, it's the follow-up as well. Your behavior, so your lifestyle, Exactly, everything. and it all is and part like, of it. Yeah, like you said, if it's fat, then you know how to control that instead mm -hmm. of controlling what might be my problem. Exactly, yes, exactly. so exactly. more information on Arival program, you can visit their website, and don't forget to use the offer code MICKEY for 50% off a month. It's arival.com, so use that promo code when you check out. We'll be right back. So how many of us feel completely confident about our financial future? Let's hear some specifics. Yes, go ahead. I don't want to be a burden to my kids. When my husband died, it took almost all of our savings to give him a proper funeral. I honestly don't know if there's enough to bury me, let alone cover expenses should something happen. OK, let's talk solutions. One thing you may want to get in place is a guaranteed whole life insurance policy from United of Omaha Life Insurance Company, which is a mutual of Omaha company. This is affordable coverage, which provides a cash payment, which can cover funeral expenses, bills, and other financial needs. Most payments are on their way within 24 hours. Yes, sir. I need medical exams, you know, things like that. No medical exams. If you're between the ages of 45 and 85, you can call this number or you can go online and apply for coverage up to $25,000. United of Omaha Guaranteed Whole Life Insurance. Call or go online now. I took my first handful of pills and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. 
Selfless service is the principle that guides Army National Guard soldiers to be ready whenever disaster strikes. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. Selfless service, it's what inspires the men and women of the Army National Guard to be part of something greater than themselves. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. The ABC7 First Alert weather app just got even better. It's easy to use once you download it. First, tell the app to follow you so you get alerts pinpointed to exactly where you are. Then customize your settings with all the places you go, from the beach to grandmother's house. Get accurate alerts for everyone you care about. You can even pick which weather alerts and categories you want and what they sound like. More ways to customize and more ways to keep your family safe. Download the ABC7 First Alert weather app today. This is one of the busiest weeks of the year on the roads and in the air. A lot of folks are already heading out for the holiday getaways, but you can stay right here. There is plenty to do here. Fireworks will be exploding all up and down the Sun Coast on the night of the 4th. But if you'd like to get a head start on the fun, Nathan Benderson Park kicks off their 4th of July celebration on July 3rd. Gates open at 4 and the live music starts at 5. The popular Greg Billings Band plays from 7.30 to 9.20 and the fireworks will blast off over the lake on the 3rd of July at 9.30 p.m. And admission is free. That's one of the best parts. That's right, and it's July 3rd. Don't forget, coming up next, we're going to join the Glenn Family Bakery to celebrate patriotism in the kitchen. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good morning, I'm Stephanie Webb. Coming up today at noon, more on that alligator attack at Shamrock Park in Venice. We've got some new warnings today for pet owners there. And we'll have the latest on students and coach still trapped inside that cave in Thailand. Why well, it could take weeks to get them out. But right now, let's check in with First Alert forecaster Wendy Ross. And Stephanie, we are looking at a low pressure system located out here in the Atlantic. You can see it very clearly right here. You see that counterclockwise swirl. There's about a 1% chance of development. So the National Hurricane Center has its eyes on it. And of course we do too. And we are seeing a couple of showers being thrown off from that low pressure area. And that's already starting to line up along the eastern sections of the, or just off the east coast of Florida. And of course all of that movement is towards us. So we're going to be seeing these showers later on this afternoon, 40 to 50 percent chance of rain with a high of 92 today. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a zero dollar monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right, for one low plan premium, or in some cases, a zero dollar premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. 
It's simple to use and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. the best protection she has. Buddy up. I'm Jill Harrington. Please visit HelpSaveTheNextGirl.com and get involved. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Hi, I'm Stephanie Webb. And I'm Ray Collins. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. We have a list of places to see fireworks tomorrow night. We're going to tell you how you and your family can make the most out of your Independence Day. That's tomorrow on Good Morning Sun Coast. Wendy? And we are waiting to see whether the weather is going to cooperate for us just in time for the fireworks display. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. Welcome back. We're here with Lisa from the Glenn Family Bakery. Hi and guys. I am ready for some sweets. I mean, come on, baby. Give me some cookies. <laughs> All right. It's an eating so day. It's, uh, it is an eating day, eating and drinking. So what we're going to do today is our um, shortbread cookies, okay. cutout cookies. Um, you can also do them as drop cookies, but um, cutout cookies. Really, really easy, simple to make very kid friendly um, we're going to show a little decorating tips today as well and Steph, i'm going to have you roll roll out the dough okay so this dough is already um we've already portioned it out all right is it and chilled is that it's a little bit chilled okay. does that help um, and it does help okay um room temperature it's going to be a little bit gummy and you're going to have ah, to use a lot of okay. flour so Any what you're going to do here? is you're going to put your rolling pin always is going to go perpendicular in front of you. Okay. And we have these really cool dowels. They're a quarter inch dowel. And what this does is it helps keep your cookie uniform. Ooh, so they're not like smart. really thin on one side yeah. and really puffy on like the other side. the kind of dowel I get at the hardware store dowel? Really? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Like All Home right. Depot, these are quarter right. inch. Um, and that's under the baker's tips in the recipe. Put your hands right on the outside okay. and you're going to let the rolling pin roll. So you're not doing it, this is doing it. And you're just going to press down and roll out. And tell me what this rolling pin is because mine is wooden this and is bulky. A, well, this is a, um, a, a plastic French rolling pin. There's also okay. another one that's a wooden rolling pin that has fluted at the but end. But that's why they have it so and wide is so this, you can... Right. And you're going you're gonna to feel this. Just go right through. Okay. And pull it back to you. All right. Something's on yes, over I feel here. the stove on hand here. Yeah. I think we hit a button. Let's turn it off. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We're cooking them too. So, early. and you can feel right when the rolling pin hits the dowel, and yeah. you know that you've gone far enough. Oh, okay. That's and then really easy when you are cutting out another little baker's tip. So you're just going to press it down. Okay. And you're going to push in a little bit, and like then that? pull up. Yep. Oh. Uh, and see how oh it just picks up. Uh, and now what nope. about getting it out? A little stick. poke? Yep, a little okay. poke. Oh, so do thing. all cookie cutters have give like that? A I little have bit. no yeah, idea. A little bit. Oh, that's and what I'm going to have you guys do over here. So we've got three ways that we can decorate today. Okay. So we can do the frosting. Of course. Of course. And then with the sprinkles, red, white, and blue, sugar sprinkles. Mm -hmm. We also have the gel. Now, I purchased these. Um, we can make these at the bakery. It's royal icing, mm -hmm. and you can do just little stripes, really just a little bit of pressure. Oh. Oh. But when you and I mean, you can write your name, you can oh, do the okay. stripes for red, white, and blue, and then oh. we also have the berries, where you can do the frosting and then line up the berries. <laughs> so you have to not break the cookie, though, Mick. She it. just gave it a thrill. Hey, let's so push these over, because we, we want to so watch what? Mickey make so mistakes. Really, really, <laughs> so very easy. The cookie is in your hand, so you're not pressing the cookie. Oh. The cookie's in your hand, and then you're just giving it a little turn. See the little, it's oh. just like a little baker's turn. Oh. And then that's finesse that I might not have. That, I'm gonna pretend try it. it's somebody's eyelid yeah, and you're you know putting what? eyeshadow on. Here's the deal. It doesn't really matter because if you do this with kids or even yeah. for yourself, exactly. 
you're going to cover it with other stuff. You're going to oh. cover it with the sprinkles, well, and you saying. don't really have to be. Look at that. that. I did it. Exact. See that? And now oh. go ahead and try it with some of the berries. So the strawberries are already cut. You can do the corners, and then you've got the red, white, and blue theme. Now, how fun oh, would cute. this be, Super cute. Linda, to do with your grandkids this and is just great. give them either fruit or the frosting or whatever you want to do, or I and you can make your own little your fun. own little <laughs> treats. Here's the thing I just learned: Linda likes icing. Linda, pass that over here so I can show what oh, you created. Oh, no, not the icing, your creation. Oh, look, look she, this. She's Isn't got like six oh layers of icing on. Yeah, but it's, it's beautiful. Red. Look it at this beautiful. Theme. Very patriotic. It's like yeah. tie dye. The best thing These about this really is you can just do whatever you want to do. Yeah. There's no right or wrong. And the other quick tip: put your cookies in the fridge for about 15 minutes before you put them in the oven, and okay. that's going to help them keep their beautiful mm. shape. Yeah, nothing job, better than guys. a good shortbread cookie. Ooh. All right, you'll see the Glen Family Happy Bakery Fourth. around the area at farmers markets and in area coffee shops. So always indulge because they have wonderful, great treats, including some shortbread to celebrate our holiday week. All right, Lisa, safe or Lisa. Thank you to Lisa, Mickey safe travels, and everybody enjoy the rest of your week. We'll be here celebrating the 4th of July with you. Take some time and enjoy the Sun Cusk view.